welcome to another episode of Game Hater, the game where we play video games, video games, and hate them, or you know, super hate them. Thank you for. Oh no. Or in some cases, or turn them off without any reason. <laughs> well, you know, if this turned out to be a bad game, then that might have been the best decision you've made all night. It's uh, certainly not a good game based on everything I've seen so PG3. far. Which is which is very little. Indeed, look at this uh, whole uh, border we had to have on here because of uh, the bad aspect yeah, ratio. Yeah, it won't even run in a reasonable aspect ratio already. So, so this game is called Cogs. Um, I assume it's in some way about gears and perhaps the clocks, clocks, or the strange and horrible ways the gears reproduce. Or if you think about it, it could be a game that's like based on the 90s phenomenon known as Pogs, only instead using Cogs. They, they would certainly grind together a lot more than regular Pogs. Uh, now, last week's episode was an utter disaster. We played Beat Buddy. We both kind of liked it. Um, it was pretty good. I'm happy to report that with Cogs, I was looking through my list of skin games, mostly going alphabetically on games I haven't played yet. I clicked on it, and I'm like, this game? I don't know if I even want to play this game for Game Hater. And I kind of had to psych myself up to try it out. And I think that that's a good thing. Any game that you uh, dread playing is going to be a pretty good episode for this one, so... Right. Okay, so we've got, we've got some puzzles. So we're, we're in a puzzle game. Uh, rearrange the gears so that they turn the gold gear. Sounds riveting. To slide the tile into an adjacent space, click it with the left mouse button. Oh, hey, before you get too far, remember you gotta um, share the screen with me on my on uh, Skype. Oh, yes. Sorry, we had some difficulties. Not so Incidentally, long. just so it is clear, it'll be Steve that's playing, and uh, me, Aaron, will be just here on the side commentating, kicking yeah, my feet yeah. up, and uh, watching his torment, basically. I really blew the intro on that. Do you, uh, do you have it now? I do not. It is still showing the background of your Steam and uh, Skype and one of your folders. Why would it? There we go. Okay, good. This is... Skype does not want to show you this game. Change screen sharing. Did that you share a window? All right, let me condense down to single monitor mode. All right. I'm thinking perhaps how your screen is just frozen, and that's why it's not showing anything. Well, sure is. Might now. be. It did not like that. Yeah. How about now? Let's see here. Um, it looks like I lost your screen, but I guess because I try to scare, share my screen. Okay. This is exactly the sort of riveting content we endeavor to provide. Here yeah, here. I know. Like, you know, you want to make sure that you have some uh, very interesting. Okay, there you go. You got it. Okay. Now you just got to get back on the stream again. All right. Looks like everything is going good. We are Great. good to go. I can no longer see the screen, so you're in charge of that. Oh, that's fine. Gears play. Okay. So, we've got a timer that we're going to ignore. Looks like this is uh, your pretty typical puzzle game. Puzzle shift so, blocking. Oh, yep. Slidey block puzzle. This is the kind of game we're looking at. I feel like this is going to be a pretty short episode. Yeah. There's a lot to hate so far. Like, everything about it. Oh, okay, so I just got something a little bit different. I did it. No, it took me way too long. And too many moves. Too many moves. Well, what an embarrassing display. Unless this is just a simple tutorial, the game does be more complex. I suppose that's possible. Alright, get power to the prop. Click and drag with the right mouse button to rotate the box. 
just want to commentate um, that this particular game is not one of Twitch's more popular titles, <laughs> if only because it has not been played at all in the past uh, month. That's, uh, that's a long time without any cogs. Yeah, I know. I can't yeah. believe Twitch has uh, got along so far without having your cogs in their life. It really seems like that is on Twitch, not, not on us. I do like the sort of 3D model going on here, though. That is a... Uh, Makes it feel like it's actually doing something, uh, I guess. But the modeling is certainly very clean. It's not super aesthetically pleasing, but there's nothing really bad about it either. So, um, I would say there's probably a game that you probably didn't pay a whole lot for. Let me see if I can find out what the price of it is right now if I was to buy it on Steam, not on sale. Just out of curiosity. Right. Okay, so now we've got a, got a pipe puzzle mixing things up a little bit, totally different from what we've been doing with cogs. And I suspect I'm going to need that elbow down here, post haste. Right. So this game, they're actually charging uh, $9.99, which uh, feels a little steep for a game like this. Yeah, for feels something... like something you would find on your cell phone as a kind of a free-to-play game. What year was it? It was released uh, April 14, 2009. The overall reviews for it are actually very positive, though. Yeah, I mean, 2009, I'm trying to think how that fits into the grand scheme of things, but cell phones were probably on the rise at that point. Yeah. So there's probably a lot of overlap between indie PC games and cell phones. Some gears have pegs. To interact with other gadgets. Use the pegged gear to push the hammer and strike the chime. Very dramatic objective. Yeah, yeah, it is really dramatic. Okay, so this actually is a game that is on a cell phone. If you were to buy it on a cell phone, though, it would only be two ninety nine. Man, the PC tax gets you every time. Yeah, normally you would expect it to be a reverse for the PC to be cheaper, but uh, it doesn't work that way when a cell phone is involved. Well, I mean, playing on an iPhone, can you really put a price on that? Well, you know, that would assume I have an iPhone to look at, which, um, by the way, I don't appreciate that accusation. I am blowing this one. Yeah, um, where is it supposed to connect to? I'm trying to... Oh, get it up to the time up there, but yeah. you got that, that. Okay, the spinning one has to be up there. Yeah. I hope all the comments are just making fun of my Neanderthal-esque attempts at doing this. Oh yes, that's exactly what all the uh, overwhelming number of comments are about. Very good, very good. The important thing is I'm going to assume you're not lying to me and we're getting comments. Oh yes, naturally, of course. Everyone is turning in to see this amazing episode of COGS. Maybe we should try adding some more riveting comments. So, you see, the trick to this level is I've got to make gears spin the other gears. And eventually I'll get this gear spinning. And I'll use this as a seed and get the gears to uh, go across to this side. And do the same thing over here. And once more to the, the fourth side. Third side. And finally... I'll get this crank turning, and uh, if I had read the mission objective, I'd know why that's a good thing. You are doing a, um, quite a job at actually understanding the way this game works. It's almost like you're interested in it. <laughs> well, I'm glad it came off that way. So, I mean, when you think about it, really, this is just your basic you know, puzzle turning kind of game, because, I mean, it's not actually... Anything more than that is just that, you know, it has these, like, yeah. moving parts when it really it could just be a picture and it would accomplish the same exact thing. Yeah, I it's mean... It's little pieces there just make it seem like it's doing more. Yeah, I, I, I fully agree. It's not really anything more complex than you would... Oh, a head popped out. It's got a monocle, monocle and a mustache, so that's something. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's that standard sliding block puzzle only dressed up. With, like you say, instead of a picture, it's 
spinning gears. Yeah. It doesn't oh. even have any characters for us to make voices for either. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> that is disappointing. Disappointment all around. Uh, simul chimes. Strike both chimes simultaneously. You'll need to time your movements very carefully. Well, this is getting a little more... a little more intense. Well, for some definition of the word intense. So, let's see. I guess I just have to make sure I hook up this piece last. Right. I want to have those two uh, turning ones at the top. I guess it doesn't matter which side yeah. they're on. I do need to get up there, though. That's for sure. But you want to have them connected at the same time, I guess. That's what it's saying, right? Well, they need to be activated at the same time. Not necessarily right. connected. All right, so I need an empty block up there. It's going to take a little finagling. I never really was really good at with these kind of games. Like, uh, I always hate it when you have, um, like, different video games that decide to put one of these in there pretty much out of just laziness because they can't think of anything else right, to put in the they game. They have some time they want to fill. No, I, I feel I'm like looking at you, Wind Waker. Yes. So, I feel like I'm missing the cog. Well, no, if you think about it, like, if you have two of those gear cogs in the top oh, two seconds, middles yeah, there. right up here. Yeah. I'm with you. Oh, no, and I turned the other guy. This is a disaster. Yeah, but if you have a gear up in the middle, then we can have all of them turning. If you get it set up like that. Yeah, there you go. Right, but now I've got these two out of alignment. Yeah, you just got to figure out how to get them back in there. Not only that, but the, the clappers are now pointing different ways. Oh, you think that's going to cause an issue? Yeah, I think it is. Well, that's root of the game. Yeah, here you have an unavoidable problem that we're going to judge you for, says the game. Not really sure what my entire goal is right now, except to block Well, your goal right now is to uh, hate this game. Well, I'm certainly doing that. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, um, from what I'm seeing so far, for what the game is trying to be, it's uh, it's okay. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, it's not a game that I would necessarily want to play myself, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it is being the game that it is trying to be, and I I can't begrudge it. This is tough getting to move it back out there just the right time. Yeah. That's really a hard thing to time. I'm sure I'm surprised it makes you do that. I can understand wanting to have both at the same time, but uh Right. It's it's not a simple objection objective. Okay. I think I may have found the formula. So I give I wanna give this guy a head start. That was that was not it. Nope. Now I've got them turning different ways in different contexts. Too much. Well, I'm getting closer. Yeah. I think it could be a tad bit more forgiving with a little segment here. Yeah, this is not the time to to be a hard ass game. But yeah, like seriously, that. Like that it's like that, I would think that's, that should have been close enough. Yeah. And here it is penalizing you for all these different moves you have to make just to fix this one little flaw that it has there. Yeah. yeah what's, really, what's really hurting me is the direction change. And I'm just going to brute force trial and error this, really. I know. That's like, how I, mean, I deal with puzzles. Timing would be hard to figure out. Right. So why are you trying to move all three pieces? Why don't you just move this one there back and forth? Um, well... Oh, because it keeps turning. If I move this guy... Right. The goal is to spin one of them and not the other. I guess this is a little easier way, isn't it? Yeah, this was the way to do it. Oh, no, I 
was gonna I was gonna start swearing if it died. Yeah, hold on, I was like, wait, what? Why are they dead yet? Keeping me so in you suspense. got three stars for that, and that's it. I know none of the bonus objectives. Okay. I guess we're gonna get a higher point if you had figured that part out a little bit sooner. How to um get it turned the right way. Yeah. Where's the gears in this one? This one's just connecting. Well, these, pipes. these are pipes, pipes and gears. I mean, they don't even try to think of them as a super rock concept. Right. Alright, I've already blown it. I this is like... another puzzle that's popular in uh, RPGs and so forth that I've always been frustrated to find. I was actually okay with it in, uh, in Bioshock. But I think it was the hacking was a pipe puzzle. I remember encountering this, I think, in Dragon Age and uh, wasn't thrilled with it. Yeah. There was a certain segment there, I think, um, in the Shale DLC. Where uh, if you get shale, then uh, there's like this stupid pipe puzzle you have to solve, and like, it has no place being in that game. Yeah, Dragon Age is a very strange place for it. Alright, turn the two big wheels simultaneously. Okay, so what mechanism is causing them to turn? That's the first question. The pipes! It's gotta be the pipes. Well, this is sort of cool. Like now, we're actually combining like an object together with multiple parts. Yeah, we'll see. It's not a very practical object, but it's a. Uh... Yeah, I mean, we get we get points for mixing up the formula of, of pipes and things other than pipes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was. You gotta not... get both pipes going, though. Yeah. So do I. Have... Better splitter for this. Let's take the peak, but it doesn't matter. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you can get anything from anywhere else. Right. Well, so I need to be able to preserve that path. Yeah, I think you're on the right track now. Okay. There you go. This side's good. Alright, so we've got, we've got gears. This is pretty straightforward there. Just call for more gears. Or yeah, you have to the um it's it's not accepting my commands. I think it's because like physically it won't can't push oh, that piece in there. Not allowed to put moving gears together, you think? I guess not. Hmm. Well, at some point I have to be allowed to. Maybe if you disconnect the pipes and uh True. Well, you still have one pipe going, though. True. No, I'm gonna... I'm going to regret that. No, it still... It still says no to moving the pipe in there. Oh, well, you, you are, you're gonna have it the way you want to, anyway. If you look at it. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get from... So I really only need these two. Well, you need that one and that empty spot right oh, now, so to get back there. Yeah, then you so, should be good. Okay. I'm trying to do the wrong thing. There you go. Okay, so now we've got we've got these moving. And this big wheel needs to be moving somehow. So how did that get connected? Oh, okay, that's pretty straightforward. That looks good. Hopefully the their definition of simultaneously is not going to become an issue. I can't see how it would be. Well, if it were start them simultaneously versus have them moving simultaneously. I know, like, if it was actually that way, then uh, you would already have the sync sort of spinning away from you. On yeah, one... there's no way to do it. Kind of serenely rolls away. Yeah. I'm reminded of this one game I keep seeing on Reddit every now and then, where you actually get to get, uh, build, like, your own war machines and uh, hmm. put them into action. forget what it's called, but uh, that little thing you just made reminds me of them. I may have seen that game, that sounds familiar, or some something like it. Two-sided. Solve both sides simultaneously to get steam to the gold gear. Click and drag with the right mouse button to spin the puzzle. Alright. Okay, so Looks like got a simpler. different things on different sides. No way that's gonna go 
wrong. Well, I guess I'll just focus on getting steam where I need steam to be. I'll go up here. And that's not really a disaster. It will be after you uh, get things moving. This part's a disaster. I need... I need... This specific pipe. Oh yeah, disaster's inbound for sure. Okay. It's working out so far. And... This is a pretty uh, complex puzzle here. This one's a bit more interesting. There is certainly something to this puzzle. Yeah, and uh, it's the way it's set up is a little bit more than what you could actually accomplish with um, anything in real life. That's probably true. I mean, I guess you could have a sliding puzzle with a picture on both sides, but would it really be that special? It would be hard to align them, though. Yeah, and you, you'd, you'd kind of win by default, I think. Yeah, you just need to they made this one a lot simpler than they could have, so I appreciate that at least. Yes. It's going to be a lot of wasted moves, I think. Well, if we were trying to do it for the right score, um, would you be better at this kind of game? Yes. So really, how do I fix this? That guy needs to stay where it is. space to work with than I was thinking. Yeah. It's very easy to lose track of your objectives, too. Ah, uh, no, that's all messed up. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I do not like this puzzle one bit. The worst thing is you can just sort of see the way it's set up and you're like, you know... I can just pull these, jam these pieces out and uh, put them in the right place, and this thing just work just fine. Right. I still need to swap these two. It's just, it's just so easy to get disoriented. That one's where it needs to be, so we just need to get this guy. Everything is going wrong. All I need to do is switch two pieces. You would think there'd be an easy algorithm for that. I'm sure there is for people who have studied these puzzles. Well, you know, whenever it comes to these puzzles, um, immediately I am the kind of person who goes to game facts. It's like, what <laughs> sequence do I need to beat this? Because I do not enjoy these kind of yeah, puzzles. I do not have time for this crap. I just want to get back to stabbing monsters. Yeah, I know. I was like, that's, that's the kind of game I uh, purchased. I didn't purchase a brain teaser game. That's where I want it. Now I've completely hosed my original pipeline. Yeah. Okay, so that's not so bad. There, we go. there you go. I did not enjoy that at all. It's the it's the visibility problem. If I could see both sides at once, that'd be one thing. But right. It'd be nice if you had like a mirror set up that you could uh, see both sides at once. Right. Yeah. Or if it was in real life, you just have your hands on both sides, feeling it out. That's true. Like if I was have this in my hand, I could like hold one pipe in my hand. And make sure I'm not moving that one piece while I'm sliding everything else around. That's true, and, and I guess you could, you could have done that same puzzle with a real kit. It would be the same thing, just wooden pipes if you're trying to draw, draw the patterns. Yeah. The air. No, one of those puzzles, like, but a real one. 
Not a video game. Right. I mean, yeah, if I was Amish, a bored Amish child who doesn't have enough chores to do, then yes, I would love these people's types of puzzles. <laughs> but this is a huge waste of electricity, processing power, and software expertise. Yeah. All right, stop the chimes. I think I might. I think this might be a decent game to have. Whoa, this is pretty complex. Yeah. So now the new goal is to get these clappers away from. Oh, okay. That's a way to save a move. I think this would be a pretty decent cell phone game, though. Um, just because when you're on your cell phone, you're not always looking for a fun gaming experience. Just you know, something right. to kill time. Yeah. But if I'm on a PC, I want to play something fun, and this isn't. Right. That wasn't bad. No. Yeah, I mean, we, we've been playing for, being generous, 15, 20 minutes. And I could put this down at any point. Get both clocks to turn at the same speed. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. We've got different sized gears. Yeah, and what do they do? On different planes. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. So that little uh, orange or the yellow one in the middle there probably won't get turned by the gray ones, only by the yellow one. Um, let me, yes, that sounds correct. Right. Yeah. So. But this guy yeah. is not gonna mate while it's still moving. I guess. That is such a BS restriction. Yeah, it doesn't like it doesn't follow. Like, why doesn't it work? Yeah, in some contexts it does, in some contexts it doesn't. Well, that shaded one, like, is that on a different plane too? You talking about this guy? Yeah. That's a that's a brown on top of a gray. So brown is the middle tier. Oh, so it can interact with both sides. Right. I need to get these guys up. That's my new. So I'm trying to figure out, like, this second clock up there. Yeah, i got to get something up there. I'm thinking it has to be the bigger one, because oh. I don't know how I'm supposed to get around with it. It is spinning. Can you, like, turn the puzzle around? Can you see the back of it? I can. Not it doesn't show anything on the back. I was no. wondering if maybe it was showing some kind of interaction back there. So I guess I can activate this big gold one with... Hmm. I think I've got more gears than I need, which means I'm probably not fully understanding the puzzle. I'm thinking you just want to have the yellow one spinning, and then also have that one up there interacting as well. Yeah. So let me just get the yellow one here. Yeah, so this one wants to be activated by... No, they, they just need to have them aligned, that's all. Well, I think... I think you had it, just that it need to be they need to be moving at the in sync together. They want them at the same speed for this puzzle. Which means, what I'm thinking is I need to get this brown one here. So start oh. the brown and the gray. Because what will happen is this brown one will be going at the speed of a brown one which will turn yellow up here, causing the gray to spin, the speed of brown. Wow. If I... The speed of brown was never a concept that I'd ever put much thought into. Well, you didn't major in physics, so I'll forgive you. Okay, so that's not right. But there are other combinations of brown and gold I can try. So if this one... Something, something, that's what she said. Oh, she would not be talking to me if I was spending this much time on a sliding block puzzle. <laughs> She'd be like, man, I only date men 
<laughs> who are super good at block puzzles. And you, sir, do not fit the bill. And then you'd be like, so that would explain why you're not dating anybody. Well, I magically did it without... Oh, I didn't even mean that last cock, either. I am the best at block puzzles. Yeah, you could tell by the fact that you haven't got any extra stars on any of these last few levels. <laughs> That's true. Hang on, I'm having to... You're doing better than I'd be doing, though. I'd just be, uh... I'd have already checked out on this game already. You've, you have game, game facts open on the other screen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Redirect the steam to drive the gold gear. I should probably have it open for you, and then I can act like I'm giving you expert advice with my uh, keen insight. And I said A3. Know. A3 left, damn you. <laughs> and after you don't do it, I'm like, oh, I can't help you at this point. <laughs> I am out of ideas. <laughs> you're like, you're doing so well at the beginning. Like, yeah, well, you uh, broke the, the sequence that I uh, conceived of immediately after looking at it. I could only solve puzzles before they have been touched. Alright, this would be going great if I uh, was thinking more than one turn ahead. Well, I guess that's what this kind of game is for. Shaving people who think differently from the game's desire? Yeah. There we go. I think you might actually get a few stars for that one. Look at that, you got bronze. two extra ones. <laughs> My dating prospects are looking up. Yeah. I think at this point you could probably date like a three. Yeah, but what's that in gears? That's what we just saw was in gears. Get steam power to the gold gear. There can't be any pressure leaks in the system, so you'll need to build a closed loop. Alright. Guess I can. Alright, so this is my... It's way over there, that's so far away. All these clicks I have to waste just to get the first piece where it needs to be. Right. right so and then you can't have any steam, just kicking out nowhere. No, no, no steam. Okay. And there's not enough pieces to make a loop without doing that. Right. So this could be a little more complicated than I gave it credit for. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. This piece... can go up here without any complaints, right? Except, no, I have to have these two connected. I think you're better off having your split a little bit earlier in the um, sequence. Yeah, you Just so you have a little bit more room to uh, make your loops. Well, I guess you're probably right if you can get that one up there closed. Right. And then I just have to worry about circling it back somehow. Yeah, you don't have a lot of room to maneuver with. Right. So, maybe there's... I wonder if you can try to get that uh, the tr triple one down there out of that bottom segment and triple place it with that uh, solid pipe on the top there. track of your suggestion. No, you got it. You got it. This is what I was helping, looking for wanting okay. you to do. That doesn't solve the problem with this piece. Yeah. If you could somehow get that um, other triple piece that's um, down there in the bottom right, get that up there in the um, blank area up there, that might do you some good. Then you only have like one segment. Well, no, you wouldn't be able to close it off, would you? You have to have it like that. Yeah. So maybe I need Well I can't Can't do anything with that. No. That's a useless endeavor. So pretty much I have to do I have to start here? I guess I don't have to. You know, you have so many different horizontal ones, I wonder if you just need to make it yeah, go like what you're doing like that and then twist up somehow. Yeah. 
because ultimately I want to be somehow recombining the path. Right. Okay, this might actually work. If I get this triple up here. Right, and then I can... Yeah, if you can just get that one corner piece one. up there. Yeah. puzzles are always so brutally inefficient and that's my main problem with them is you know what you want to do yeah i'm sure like if you went back and replayed that level now that you know what it looks like you could probably solve it a lot faster it's just yeah, that you're not actually replaying them but that that feels like such a a hollow kind of victory all right let's do one more because this does look like at least it's kind of interesting Balloons can only be filled with steam of the same color. Alright, so you got yellow going up to that yellow blue one right steam. now. steam. Well, we can't have that. Just trying to find my starting points. It looks like you have a... Uh... Okay, so yellow's coming out of here. It looks like you guys have one in the reverse, because, um... You can't cross the pipes, obviously, so you must have these pipes on the back, or on the back yeah. next to those two horizontal ones. That's gotta be the case. Yeah, see? Yeah. The yellow one could be really easy to do. Yep, Boom, so you're that's, done. That's pretty trivial. So where's my blue? That blue's coming from here, if I remember right. Yeah. That's no good. So, I'm gonna need some yes, more indeed. horizontals. Yep. Yeah. And there we go. Well, look at that. Floating away. I feel so very satisfied. That one uh, was more of a case of just going to look at the um, where the pipes are connecting. That yeah. was a challenge. Okay, that's enough of that. All right. So I think we had a pretty good run with that. Uh, I don't have any desire to play anymore, though. No. So, yeah, I mean, that game... I, I guess it had some good things going for it. I mean, it was certainly... On the whole, it wasn't badly designed. I can't really say, right. like, as far as what it was trying to be, it failed in any way. I mean, there were some puzzles where we weren't very happy with it, but... Um... Right, I mean, there's, there's, the, there, there's this theory of criticism. And I always forget who who posted it, but the idea is there's there's three important questions. Uh, number one, what is this thing trying to accomplish? What's this work work of art trying to be? And the second question is, how well did it accomplish its goals? Right. And then the third question is. Uh, what worth do those goals have? So I think in this case, you know, the game, it wanted to be a sliding block puzzle where the pieces do more than form a picture. And it mostly did that, right? I mean... Yeah, I'd it, say it succeeded at that. Not, in some ways, in a more interesting way, but in less of an interesting way, because at least with like a sliding block picture, you try to have a goal and then you have something at the end of it that's worth having because it's like, look, you have this pretty picture. With this, right. I mean, you sort of have like this machine that you build, but it's not that much of an accomplishment to have it. Right. You sort and, of look at it at the beginning and know what it'll look like at the end. And it's still just by the nature of it's telling you you have to arrange these blocks in this specific order um, to make a path for steam or connect gears together. It's not that different from a picture. I think you mentioned that very, very early on. So, you know, why call it COGS? Why not just have it be like Sliding Block Puzzle Collection 2009 or something? Right. Um, and there's probably something like that on, on the, the App Store. 
Right. Well, it is actually this game is on the App Store too. So right, but I'm saying like it's not that unique of a concept. And yeah. If I go onto my phone right now, let's do that and see how many sliding puzzle apps I can find. Yeah, I'm sure there's uh, quite a few. I can look too. Let's see here. Sliding puzzle. Yeah, it, it, that was. Here's some pictures, some number sequences. Here's one where you're looks like you're guiding a block around. That's kind of a novel concept because that's actually dynamically. I think what's important to note, though, like if I go down this list of all these sliding puzzle games, every single one of these is free. Now some yep. of these might be free to play, but by and large they're free. Right. Whereas yeah. this game definitely put a lot more work into it than any of those did. Most likely. It's still, I mean, it's like if you look at like a game like Solitaire, it's only ever meant to be a replication of the card game. And so it didn't really transcend that anyway. It didn't try to transcend that anyway. Whereas this is trying to be more than a block puzzle game. But at the same time, it doesn't necessarily succeed at being more than a block puzzle game because it's limited by what it's trying to be. And so it doesn't able to really transcend the genre of what it came from. Right, right. I, I fully agree. That That's kind of what I was getting at. Um, yeah, so like I said, I saw one of the block in the app store where you're trying to get a ball to move around. But since the ball is a physical piece on the board, and it's going to be on... I'm sorry, the, the ball is a, a thing on the board. Right. But it looks like it can dynamically travel along paths. So that's Which actually, is the same as a pipe puzzle in this, though. Well, 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 no, because the steam is always going to follow the pipes. Right. You can't carry steam from one square to another just by virtue of moving that tile. Right. This is hard to explain verbally, but... If you have a ball, and the ball actually moves when it has a path, and it'll stop when the path stops, but you can still move the ball by sliding a piece, right? keeping it on the same tile. That's different. That's not forming a picture, that's moving an object. Right. And uh, I don't know if you played the Professor Layton games, but one of them had sliding puzzles where you have a bunch of oddly shaped blocks and you can move the blocks based on, you know, what space they can fit in. And you've always got one, one, one puzzle piece that you're trying to move across the board based on the paths you open dynamically. Right. And, and that's another, t another twist on the sliding block puzzle that actually makes it something new and interesting. Uh, th this game, I never really got to a point where, I felt it was more than drawing a picture, except for that one where we were um, trying to time a clapper simultaneously for, for two different bells. Yeah. And that was just annoying. Right. I think in the end, um, I mean, it's a, it's it's not a bad game. I mean, this is the kind of thing someone is into. It's not a bad game by any means. Um, okay. I wouldn't pay nine ninety nine for it. I might pay two ninety nine for it on a cell phone if that was the kind of game I was interested in. But uh Right. I mean I'm sitting here with my gaming PC and my new set of headphones like geared up to <laughs> slide blocks around, right? That's not right. It's not my usual Friday night when it comes to a gaming session. Yeah. This is the Granted, not everybody's going to have a, um, a gaming PC. Although that said, this game did, uh, I mean, it was a 3D game. It did uh, do some fancy, you know, finagling with moving things around. So um, yeah. it almost is almost to its own detriment that um, someone with a really older PC couldn't play what is otherwise a pretty simple game. Yeah, I mean, you, you, could do, you could do a game like this 20 years ago. But, I mean, the, the, the 3D models, they, they were nice. Um, yeah. So the, the production value was was good. I will begrudge it that. Yeah, but and, then it's like it's for like the type of game it is. It's almost to its own detriment that it's so good. Right. It, it, it's over designed, and you know it, it, it makes it look like it's trying to make this fairly simple concept into something amazing. Right. And, and of course, I think coming into it, we 
we both kind of saw the first board and were like, oh, geez, this is a sliding block puzzle, and both of us hate those. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I mean, like, so we're obviously like the like the best people right, to uh, not, give this a good pass. We're not the target audience by any means. Yeah. Uh, so that's really all I can think to say on it. Yeah. Um, well, you know, one thing we didn't comment on, um, and I didn't hear any of it, but what would you would you say about the sound quality? Was there, like any music in this? Was it worth it, listening it was, to? It wasn't anything special. It was inoffensive slightly jaunty puzzle game music okay um, the sound design you, you don't hear the gears you don't hear the steam oh really no that's almost that's sort of disappointing really uh, now that i've said that out loud uh i agree like i understand you're getting annoyed by that and wanting to turn it off but the fact that it's not there at the beginning is a uh, right kind of let down right especially well, like when you finish your you know your machine you really want to hear it, like, you know, cranking to life and, you know, moving on. Yeah, or hearing the balloons fill up with air with a yeah, cause... nice reward. Even when the uh, the jack-in-the-box happened, it played a little tune, but I don't even think I heard any springs. That's really too yeah, bad, because that's, like, one of the things where it could have been, you know, to its own advantage, just, you know... Make it fun, give you a little bit more of a reward for accomplishing it than just seeing a short little animation. Right. I mean, it could it could be just because I had the volume settings so low. That's true. That's fair. Uh, I'd have to go back and check. So, final rating on a, a scale of hate to super hate. I would say my final rating is just apathy. <laughs> is that a is that a valid option? I don't see why not. I, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it mild hatred. Um. I, I think I lean a little bit more on the apathy side, but well, you know, you actually had to play it, so I, I did have to. Play you have it. a more valid reason to hate it. I just, right, you I know, had to, I, had to I the watched this, and you know, I'm sort of thinking I could have been playing something else. <laughs> I, I really, I, I hope the next one I randomly choose is not another puzzle game. Yeah, for sure. Because... or worse, a fun game. <laughs> a fun game would be horrible. It just I, I I've said it before with with puzzle games, I don't want people thinking I'm playing this game and sucking at it and be like this is bullshit. I hate this game because I'm bad at it. Um, I try to be a little more objective than that. Right. It's not so much if it's a bad puzzle game, but just whether it um, communicates how well it communicates you know how to solve the puzzles and right. uh, has an interface that's not offensive and makes it so you know you're not battling with the gameplay. Just to solve a puzzle. Right. Like we were on some of our previous games. Yes. Yes, we were. This game, at least, it put everything on the table. You knew what you were trying to do. It just wasn't something And if you failed at it, it was basically... I mean, except for a few things, if you're failing at this game, it's only because you weren't planning ahead. Or because you didn't already know the solution in advance. Because it was meant to be replayable. Right. You were were too thinking about... They were too busy trying to to make jokes and not really studying the puzzles before. I mean, wait, if wait, you... we were supposed to be making jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody if, told me that. If you care about be funny, <laughs> if you care about uh, preserving turn cow or efficient solutions, you'll sit there and you'll study the puzzle. I was just my, my solution to video game puzzles that I'm not that interested in is you just keep clicking things until it works out, uh, and, and hope my subconscious is is on point. Mm-hmm. All right. So I was kind of. That's my approach. I, I think a more studied approach would have gone quicker. Yeah. Well, maybe it would have t- taken the same amount of time, but it would have certainly had fewer clicks. Yeah, you would have uh, proved your star points a little bit more and uh, might have had more dates as a result. <laughs> one, one can only hope. Yeah. But... All right, well, so that's our final rating is uh, apathy and mild hatred. Mild hatred. So all that said, I think we've said everything we can about about this game, so I hate this game and I'm going to bed. Yeah. Good night. Good night.